fake Lego, otherwise known as clone Lego. We are looking at a cloned cafe corner, a highly desirable Lego modular building that's no longer been available for quite some time. This set is almost identical to the real set in terms of accessories and build. There's only one piece that's different and that's the front door. They used the wrong door, so if you're a purist and you're worried about your value dropping, I don't think it's going to be affected that much. And the funny thing is they've got all these detailed parts from the Eagle, all the stuff, and one part is completely wrong. I don't know how that worked out. The other difference that I've noted is that these pieces do not hold quite as tightly together as real Lego does. I've moved this building around a little bit so I could photograph it and video it, and we can see there's a few pieces that have come a little bit undone, shall we say. Also the flat roof piece that removes tends to curve up a little bit, so I'm going to try to reinforce that with some real Lego. Now look at this, we've got the bird details above the third floor windows, at least I think they're birds. Uh, they could be frogs, but anyway, they got all the detail. We have the windows and then a major detail. I don't know, it just blows the set away, but I guess that's the way you can always tell a counterfeit version. There's always something not quite right that gets overlooked. But for the $100 US I paid approximately versus paying uh, well over $1,000, I'm going to live with this. I'm going to try to get the door. If I can't, I think I'm going to either leave it. My other option would be to go with a glass type door. Here's the other error that they made. There should not be a flat blue piece, but a full height blue piece above the door. And it should also be a square tile, not a round one for the doorknob. But that you can easily fix, probably through your own parts bin, or you can just find that in some set. So other than that door, which is just surprising because we've got the minifigs, we've got the bike, we've got the extra grapes that came with it. And they followed pretty much true to design of the, of the original. You know, we've got that notched cutout and back. Uh, I don't know what the purpose was of that, uh, but at any rate, maybe it saved some parts. I wish there would just been a full building. The interiors on this first generation modulars were pretty sparse. Uh, just like the original, is was basically just a staircase detail. But here's another funny little anomaly I've discovered. So the base plate is in two pieces, but it's thicker than like a standard base plate if this was, you know, just one piece. But look at this, it's all curled up here. I can, you can tell by the minifig how in the shadow lines. These, this one piece has got this. I don't know why, it, why it's done that. Now, I'm the, I bought this set used. I don't know, maybe it was stored funny, but I'm just going to get a, a single standard base plate, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be sitting lower, and it'll be one piece. So, again, for the price of buying a base plate, what I paid, I still think I got a really good deal. Now, here's another funny little thing. So, the manufacturer is clearly Le Pin, and they printed their instructions in one book, not two, so the paper must be thinner. But they're showing what you can build if you've got two, three, or four kits. Uh, and the funny thing is, they're actually using the real Lego. They're not using their own product. We know that because of the door and the blue piece. Also, I do not believe they offer a fancy box. My understanding from ads I've seen is they're bagged pieces and it just comes in a standard shipping box. But Hey, it's an excellent price. I like it. There's the door, the correct door.